for the scratch for Arduino, you have to search uh, scratch for Arduino in uh, Google. Just type it on Google search box. Okay. So after click after do this, you got a S4A symbol S4A dot CAT. Now opening this site, you got this some kind of hand movement like this. So first of all, you have to do this uh, download the S4A exe file. So right below there are some kind of videos. So you can follow that. Now the for the S4A download and install. So there is some kind of instruction. First of all, you have to download the uh, S4A and then install a firmware in Arduino board, and then you can go for it. So first of all, I'm gonna download the S4A exe file for Windows because I'm using Windows. So okay, so click on this and will be downloaded okay then so right now I have uh, already downloaded and installed this so I'm not gonna do this okay. it's easy step so you can follow that now another thing you have to do this uh, you have Arduino ID because uh, that uh, firmware means that little code you gonna install in an Arduino board with a Arduino ID so somebody doesn't have ID most of people who is familiar with uh, Arduino then they have uh, Arduino ID. But, uh, okay, so click on Windows Installer and I you get this download over there. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, so there are two options right now: just download and contribute to download, contribute and download. So I'm gonna click on just download and will be directed to the download. Now after downloading that. Um, I'm also not gonna install it because I already now download the firmware of which you wanna install in Arduino board. So there are lots of codes. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just select all and copy and uh, paste in my Arduino ID and upload through it in my Arduino board. So I'm gonna open the Arduino ID. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, paste the, all the code and before I upload I just wanna confirm that I have uh, selected the correct board and correct COM port so I'm gonna select the Arduino Uno in my case okay. and a serial port is a uh, COM28 for me so I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna run this I'm gonna I mean I wanna see that it's run properly or not so I think it should be run good. Okay, so after complete this step, you have to upload this on Arduino board. So first of all, just plug the UR USB into the Arduino board. You can see over there. Okay. So okay, now I'm gonna upload this. Click on the upload button, and here you go. Loading is completed. Now what you have to do is uh, open the S4A. Okay, so download. I have downloaded the S4A, installed the firmware in Arduino board. Now I have to just open the S4A because I already installed it. You have to install it before search bar. Okay, so I'm gonna type it uh, S4A in a Windows search box, and what I got is that S4A right there. So I'm gonna open this. Okay, you can see this. There is a some environment. Uh, basically, it's a scratch environment and it's a scratch for Arduino. So, if you are familiar with scratch, then you can understand what is happening and what it is. Now, it's showing me searching searching board. So, okay, good. Now, I've connected. So, it's uh, connected via USB to the S4A. Now, I'm ready to do. I I like to mention something like uh, when you the when you uh, connected then there are some kind of analog analog zero analog one there will be continuous changing and uh, the light on your body is RSPX is continuously blinking that you can get a little hint that you are connected with S4. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, when click block on from control. And from motion, digital on and digital off block. 
and uh, another one is from the control board okay control board forever loop so it's gonna on and off for forever but uh, we have to put some delay so I'm heading right there wait block for one second okay now I'm gonna change uh, pin number 13 with a pin number 12 both block now I will when I run this we can actually actually we can run by double clicking here or uh, clicking this uh, flag right there so I'm gonna double click over here and see what will happen to my Arduino board so let's just see uh, my code is running so now see the what's happening on board okay so LEDs, LED should blink so now my LED is blinking so that's great okay so another thing I will show you in the next video this is some um, this is a very basic video how to LED blink for the stress for Arduino because it's the instruction uh, introduction video. Okay, and please comment, like, and subscribe my channel, and uh, it really helped me a lot. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks goodbye.